everybody, I'm Nicole Infecto. I am the chairman of the Berwick Planning Board, longtime Berwick resident, and I am also a local real estate agent. So today I am going to talk a little bit about conditional uses. Last week we talked about permitted uses and when you need a permit. Today I just want to go a little bit deeper and talk about conditional uses. So on the use table, you'll see that there are um, the P's, which we talked about last week, which means that you need a permit for that use. And then there are C's, that means that you need to file a conditional use or request a conditional use permit for that. And the process for that is, if you turn to page 56 in your uh, land use ordinance, so the, the process for that is basically filling out a complete application, come to the planning board, do a presentation. Sometimes um, you'll need an engineer with you. It's preferable if you have an engineer with you. Some things you don't really need an engineer for, um, but mostly for uh, drawings and technical data. Um, but then you'll be put through these performance standards. So on page 56, 57, 58, 59, and until they end are the performance standards and those are, they, they apply to permitted uses and conditional uses, but for the conditional use process, we go through each one of these performance standards. And some examples are air emissions, buffer areas, glare from lighting, landscaping, noise, um, water and sewer, and the ability uh, for the town to handle that, or the ability for the land to handle that, parking. So all of those requirements are right in the land use ordinance for you. It's very easy to go through and you will literally go through each one and give us a statement about it. Um, the board at that point will find, uh, we have a, what we call our findings of fact, which are facts about the project. And then we're able to put conditions on onto the project. So a condition on a project must be reasonable, it must be directly related to the standards of the re of review, and it may be um, it may be having to do with the lighting or it may be having to do with landscaping. Those are two things that we see a lot of where we don't want um, you know the part of the conditional u review process is abutters are invited to come in and speak about their concerns as well. And most of the time abutters concerns are that um, traffic, or glare of lights or landscaping is um, need, you know, needed or needs changing. So those are conditions that the planning board will put on. Uh, it's generally never anything that's uh, very limiting, but just to good neighborly stuff. Um, so the project, basically we make sure that it complies with every applicable requirement of the ordinance and that's about it. Uh, the planning board cannot deny a project if it is allowed in the zone. The only thing the planning board can do is review it, ask questions, they can send it out for peer review, they can have the town attorney review it, um, and then they can put conditions on it. So that is all I have for you this week. If you have questions, please get in touch with, um, I think Jenny McCabe is probably the best person right now. The town of Berwick is looking for a assistant planning director. So if you have the qualifications, go online, check them out, and feel free to put in your um, application for that. So uh, contact Jenny, you can always contact me. I'm super responsive and um, Terry will put our contact information up for you. <laughs>